Hello, uh, we're back. Uh, we're going to have a quick discussion about file types, and I'm probably going to do this in two parts. Uh, the first part, we're just going to talk about Reaper project files and MIDI files, um, such as we, we've used them so far. So I have a project open. Uh, I've got the Spitfire Labs 1975 vintage drums that we've been using uh, in, and I've made some uh, I've made some beats and fills. Let's check that out. I was having some fun. Um, so the first thing I want to do is talk about saving this entire Reaper project. Um, I'm going to do that by going up and choosing um, Save Project or Save Project As. If you've already saved it, um, not a bad idea to use Save Project As, especially if you've saved it, but you don't know where you saved it to. Um, so critical always to know where your files are going. I'm going to Save Project As. Um, and I'm going to put this somewhere where I know I'm going to be able to find it. Um, so I've got this Music Theory 4 folder open. Um, and uh, I could call it that, Beats for January 2023. Let's save it. Okay, now that's the name of the file. And if I go um, into my Finder on a Mac and uh, Explorer on Windows, um, if I navigate to that, Sonnenberg beat library that I just made, um, I can see my Reaper project uh, folder, right? So um, if I go back to this one, if I close this project, um, now I get my, my default uh, project. I'm going to open, and I'm going to look for that. And it opens right, uh, I was in that folder, but if I weren't, I could navigate, and this is going to open um, right up for me and bring back all my stuff there it is it's going to load the right instrument uh spitfire vintage drums um gonna have all my settings but this file can only be opened uh in reaper and for it to work correctly it's got to be opened in reaper by somebody who also has spitfire labs installed and this particular vintage drums instrument uh so that's the dot rpp file um, and it's the most complete uh, file type as long as you're staying within Reaper um, but you can't open it in Ableton or Pro Tools or GarageBand or any place else. Um, now I want to talk about MIDI files and I think sometimes there's confusion about MIDI files because um, people hear MIDI demos of music and they think they're listening to a MIDI file when often they're listening to an, some kind of audio file that was generated uh, using MIDI. MIDI is just the information um, that we see here. So all the notes and rhythms and all the velocities. Um, and later on, we'll learn about other kinds of information that can be included with MIDI data. But it's pretty compact. Um, because it doesn't contain audio, which is large, uh, so it's pretty small. Um, and what's nice about MIDI is it's very transportable. Um, we could use it in different programs, um, but we need uh, we need to remember like what does and doesn't come with MIDI information. So I want to take my beat here. It's a two bar, actually it's a one bar, slow, halftime shuffle beat. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna add this to a beat library that I'm gonna make, right? So what I'm gonna do is with this selected and the cursor right here, I'm gonna create a new MIDI item that is just the beat without looping it, all right? Just like that, let's look. Great. and. Uh, you'll recall that I created a shortcut that enables me to uh, set the timeline to this item. If you don't recall that, go back, look at video number six, the action list. Um, you could also drag up here, but this is super precise. So now I have selected um, this MIDI item, which is just my beat. 
and I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose export over here. There is a keyboard shortcut, which I suggest you learn. Um, and it's export project MIDI, but I don't want the entire project right now, uh, right? So I could do that. I just want the time selection. And in this case, I just want to do selected items only, right? Not even selected tracks, but just that one item. Um, and I'm going to browse for where I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm going to put this in the Sonnenberg Beat Library. Um, I'm going to put it in the Vintage Drums folder because this is a MIDI item that's made specifically to use this uh, layout and this particular instrument. Uh, and I'm going to save this as uh, half time shuffle one right let's save it um okay let's click okay and now uh, after it does that it says show and explore now i'm on a mac i don't have uh, explore on this computer but i think what it means is finder um on a windows computer it would be um explore i'm going to click that and i'm going to see uh there it is my halftime shuffle one dot mid so if I were to drag that file into my project, into my Reaper project, put it, say, right there on the beat, I got the same beat again, right? Um, and that includes with it all of the velocity that I, you know, carefully and painstakingly set up. So that's an idea of like where and how we might use a MIDI file as opposed to uh, a Reaper project file. Uh, it's very important in this world of digital music to understand um, what file types you're using and why. So I'm going to have a follow a short follow up video to this that deals with uh, audio file types. I hope this was helpful.